The Chazi Cat The Chazi is a domestic breed of cat that was developed by breeding a few individuals from the non-domestic species jungle cat to a far greater number of domestic cats. The Chazi was first recognized as a domestic breed by the International Cat Association in 1995. Within the domestic breeds, the Chazi is categorized as a non-domestic hybrid source breed. Because Chazis are mostly descended from domestic cats, by about the fourth generation, they are fully fertile and completely domestic in temperament. Hi there, I'm Grace, and welcome to Kitten's Corner. Here we'll talk everything cats, for cat lovers, just like yourselves. If you haven't already, please be sure to paw that subscribe button, and don't forget to like and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? Which of these colors is not considered accepted or permissible for the Chazi cat? A. Brown tabby B. Solid black C. Black grizzled tabby What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer of this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the Vichazi cat. History The first hybrids of the jungle cat and the domestic cat may have been born in Egypt several thousand years ago. The jungle cat is native to a vast region spanning Southeast Asia, India, and the Middle East. For the most part, it is an Asian species of wild cat that lives by rivers and lakes. But the species is found in one small area of North Africa, the Nile Delta. It is well known that the ancient Egyptians kept domestic cats as pets. Many domestic cat mummies have been found interred in Egyptian temples. What is not so well known is that one other species of cat was occasionally preserved after death via mummification, that was the jungle cat. F. Chas is not a timid species, they are known for moving into abandoned buildings and living as happily by irrigation canals as by wild rivers, provided that adequate prey and shrubbery for cover are available. Because domestic cats are likely to have frequently encountered jungle cats along the Nile and occasionally even within their owners' homes, it seems that hybrids of the two species were probably often born there. Appearance Chazis are bred to be medium to large in size, as compared to traditional domestic breeds. Most Chazis are a little smaller than a male Maine Coon, for example, but larger than a Siamese. Adult Chazi males typically weigh 11 to 16 pounds. Adult females are usually 8 to 13 pounds, however, because Chazis are built for running and jumping, they are long-bodied and leggy with medium boning, the torso is deep-chested with flat sides. The ears are broad, tall, and set high on the head, about two fingers apart. The cheekbones are striking, prominent, long, and angular, and the eyes are flattened on top and form a half oval below. Solid black Chazis may have faint tabby markings, called ghost markings, as kittens, but usually acquire a dense, even black pigmentation with maturity. Sometimes black grizzled tabby Chazis will appear indistinguishable from solid black Chazis when the amount of grizzling is minimal. Exposure to strong sunlight, as with most black cats, can cause black Chazis to lighten slightly and appear brownish. Black grizzled tabbies are unique to the Chazi breed among domestic cats. The grizzled pattern comes from the jungle cat, it is never found in domestic cats unless they have F. Chas ancestors. The kittens are often born completely black, although occasionally they may have a bit of light-colored fur on the chin or neck at birth. As the kittens get older, they begin to look more and more like tabbies. Temperament Because breeders outcross the foundation jungle cats to mostly intelligent, outgoing breeds such as the Abyssinian and Oriental Shorthair, Chazis are intelligent, active, athletic cats. They are often very busy as kittens. As adults, they are quieter, but they still retain a playfulness and lifelong curiosity. Chazis do not like to be alone, they need to have other cats as companions or have human company most of the time. Chazis get along well with dogs, too, and will do fine if raised with a canine in the house. Additionally, Chazis form deep bonds with people. They are loyal and may have difficulty adjusting if rehomed as adults. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. 
What are the three acceptable colors of the Chaussee Cat breed? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is A. Brown Tabby is not considered an acceptable color. The TICA Chaussee breed standard allows three colors, solid black, black grizzled tabby, and black tick tabby. Because the Chaussee breed is relatively new, Chaussees are still frequently born that have a variety of other colors and patterns, and they make wonderful pets. However, only the three permissible colors are considered ideal. Well, that's all we have for the The Chaussee Cat. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts and leave a comment below. We'll see you next time on Kitten's Corner.